Anybody else? Yes, you're on. Thank you. Hi, Judy. Hi, everybody. Hi, Judy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you for being there. Thank you. I'm right now um, visiting the mother of a friend of mine, and she is very ill at the hospital. She is 91 years old. She has cancer. She just had surgery. And every time I go to see her, which is almost every day, I have in my mind, Holy Spirit, let me see her as a spirit, as the one who she really is. And put the words in my mouth that I need to tell her. However, when I encounter her, I find that uh, there is motion and a need of holding onto the body very powerfully, very, very powerfully, demanding that she will stay, that she's staying. And um, I'm not mentioning anything about Jesus or the Course or anything else, but there is no word about it, prayers or God. And it's, it's a bit of a challenge for me. It goes a bit beyond my, I don't know, my, my what to do in this situation when she is asking, say, for a new pair of boots instead of maybe I'm judging, but that's the, that's the situation. I think um, she's confronted with taking the next step into a better life, and yet she's holding on to this world. So I'm, I'm a bit pushed onto my own limits. Well, first of all, it occurs to me that you have no limits, <laughs> none at all. Right. You are bringing yourself to the hospital mm -hmm. to be with her. I don't know many people who visit someone who is ill every day. Uh, rather than trying to see the God or the love in her, particularly when she's obviously frightened and is holding on to the body hard, I would say you're letting her see the love and the God in you. And that's the greatest witness there is. You can't really do anything to change her mind. It's not up to you to do it. But to show up as you are and to show up knowing you know that there is no death, knowing you know that this is a gift that you're bringing her without any words. You don't need one word about it except how are you? What can I do for you? Can I buy you a new pair of shoes? <laughs> whatever it is, whatever little thing that you can do is not wasted. It's an expression of love. And for you to consistently being in that mode, in that thought, giving her your love is the only thing that you can do and the most important thing. There's nothing more than that. You're doing it. Yeah. I'm, I'm supporting the family. It's not that I have to go every day, but she loves to have people around when she has lunch, for example. Mm -hmm. And we do prepare some lunch for her here at home. So somebody has to take it because the son is working every day and somebody else is also working every day. I'm, I'm there. I have the time. So that's my task, my homework, going every day there and, well. But yeah. you, are, you are her angel. She's very grateful that I do that. Does she ever hold your hand? Do you hold her hand? Can you? We do. do yeah. Yes. yes. I think holding someone's hand and mm. either listening to them or being quiet mm. or if it's something she's interested in, telling her about it, is the most holy work you can do, particularly when they're passing. What she shows in fear, she can choose not to. You don't know when, mm. but it's not up to you to change your mind. It's only up to you to show up. Even when you can't go, just sending her loving thoughts. Right. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much.